So you can have those nearby. And um, let's get started. Maybe sitting on your blanket, maybe three times. And then allow yourself to warm up the spine in all the directions. Gently unwind and take your support system out and let's um, line up on the mat. Let's reach that right leg back. Open the hip, couple hip circles each direction. Kicking over under your left arm so you can see your toes. Allow yourself to fold over and then let's just step that left foot in. Come on up, setting up for Padma Tanasana, why not? Nice and long, all four sides of the waist, seeing if you can invite that opening. And then exhale, plant your palms, nice and gentle, through a vinyasa. For poor about Tanasana properly, root to rise, reach your arms out to the side, we are in a two, and let's circumduct that right arm to find the pose. Petita Trikonasana, reaching out nice and long, Virabhadrasana. Exhaling, Uttita Trikonasana. Hold. Bring the shoulders over the wrist and let your right foot explore a little further, inviting come up for us. And bring attention to um, your left hand. Balasana, child's pose, strong back. Walk your hands over to the right. Find that lateral stretch on the left side. Bring the shins down and root to rise. Coming on up. Adjust your outfit if you need to. <laughs> I always need to. Interlacing your hands behind you. A little internal rotation. Prasarna Padottanasana. C folding down. I like to come up to any headstand, maybe near a limba, near a lamba. You're welcome to do that. Rinse, finding your straddle, hinging at the hips to bring the feet down to start. Come on up, you're gonna walk your hands forward for a giant puppy pose like a Great Dane. Big toes to touch, walk your hands in. Just plant your palms. And just to come on back to that wide angle. You're gonna rebend into that right knee, turn the toes forward. And let's step that left foot up. So you're gonna move nice and gentle. You can do one step or lots of small ones. Keep your right hip moving underneath you. Bring that left foot up. Reach the right arm forward as you rotate to the side. Keep extending the spine towards the top of your mat. And reaching your chest. Nice and gently, you're gonna step that back foot in. Root into your standing front leg. And maybe float that right leg. Gently unwind. Right hand under your shoulder. Parvata Ardhashendrasana. Interlace your hands behind you with your fingers feeling weird. You've got that non-dominant side. Exhale, folding and hinge down. As you exhale, you're gonna turn the left toes forward. I'm gonna re-bend my knee to do that. Scoop your hip under and then take your time to step that right foot up and reach that left arm forward, inviting a twist, maybe a bound twist. And you can go right into that. And then as you exhale, hinging at the hips. Yogi toe lock. Index and middle finger together, sealed with the thumb around the big toe. Let the head come down, shoulder blades to sky. You're welcome to stay here if you like. You can reach your fingers, or your hands out to the side, fingertips on the floor, hands. Up. 
twisting the heels, coming on up to an inversion, if you want, on any inversion or none. Coming that right heel in, gently step that left foot up a couple times if you need it. Do what your body needs today. Getting paranoid with my bookshelf there. Reading here. Take a moment in your Tadasana. Just go check the time. Where are we at? 54. Inhale, reach the arms. Exhale, any variation of Anubhatasana standing back bend. Inhale, extend. Maybe play with the back bend. Reaching the left leg back. Chaturanga Dandasana, nice and easy, floating it back through your vinyasa. Stepping that right foot up. Float that left arm forward. Maybe look up and see your thumb. Exhale, nice gentle step to the back of the mat as you rotate into your Virabhadrasana 2. In the lower spine as I root to rise. Coming on up. Release. I don't like that pose. I don't hold it very long. <laughs> Coming on up. Inhale, extend the spine. Exhale, fold. Let's reach those arms out to the side and do your wrister. Exhale, samasthi. All right. Nice deep inhale as you exhale, open. the right leg back. Chaturanga Dandasana. Nice and simple. Exhale, Adho Mukha Svanasana, Downward Facing Dog. Step the left foot up. Allow your sits bones to come together. Holding here. And when you're ready, and you can't, your legs won't go anymore, you're going to reach your toes towards the sky, bouncing on your hands, and gently glide yourself back into Brahma Konasana. Make sure you're pushing down with your hands and pulling back. Trying to extend the spine here. And when you're ready, walk it back in. We'll stretch our feet a little bit here before we come back into our wide angle forward fold. So spread your toes, roll your inner thighs together. If this is too much, if you have a lot of plantar fasciitis um, sensation, I'm gonna take a blanket and then we'll back up so you can see. All right, so if you have big time plantar fasciitis issues, I'm going to take a blanket, fold it in, and place it underneath your knees. Okay. I'm going to take that away. Make sure your pinky toes are on or folded towards the side of your mat. Breathing your five breaths and strengthen your wrists, right, while we're here. So fast, like you're scratching the dog's butt. Reach your toes away and then hands to the floor. Come on up so that you're standing on the transverse arch on the top of the foot. Tired. Bend into your left knee, find your clasp. And just step that right foot up. Straighten arms and legs together. Keep your ribs attached to your right thigh. 
Okay. Most people lean back here. Heels stay on the floor, but energy comes forward. As you exhale, gently release. Holding in. Harder than D. Let's bring that down. Okay. So, the foot's in half lotus. I sit on her down. I'm gonna get my shoulder nice and low. Peace, peace, and perfect peace. Namaste, yogins.